Many people ask, and I've been asked this before, why do you guys put your face on the ground? What are you doing? What is this prostration? You know, this prostration or sujood in the Arabic language is not something new. If you look, for example, in the Christian New Testament, the book of Matthew, chapter 26, verse 39, you'll find Jesus described there as prostrating and beseeching his Lord for his bounties. In the Old Testament, we find the great prophets, such as Abraham and Moses and David, peace be upon all of them, described as prostrating and beseeching their Lord. What this shows us is that Islam is not a new message. Islam is not the invention of Muhammad, peace be upon him. But Islam is the message of all of the prophets. And the prophecy of Muhammad is the commonization of that prophetic message. It represents the zenith of the prophetic message to humanity. Now, what I would like you to do is try to imagine a way that you would show your submission to God. What would you do? What act would you, would you exhibit if you wanted to show your submission to God? Is there any greater act than the act of prostration? I challenge you to prostrate to your Creator. Malcolm X, a famous convert to Islam, said the most difficult thing he had to do when he became a Muslim was to destroy the arrogance in his soul and prostrate to his Lord. And he said the reason that it was difficult was not because of his arrogance, but he knew that once he prostrated to his Lord and he tasted the sweetness of that prostration and submission, he would never prostrate to anything else again. And he, Jesus, went a little further and fell on his face and prayed. The Bible, Matthew 26, 39. 